Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode, the next edition of the Okali's Film Room. Uh, I'm your host, Ryan Novozinski, joined, as always, by our film expert, Sadiq Tuma. Uh, and today we're going to break down some of the plays that came about during this 20-18 to 18 victory for OSU this past weekend against the Kansas State Wildcats. A very talented Kansas State team, uh, we should add, despite some of the you know little transitions they've had to add. Um, you know, especially that quarterback position. I know Sadiq is something you and I have talked about with how Will Howard's been able to do this year. And we'll see some of these defensive plays for OSU. I mean, the theme of this game was defense, don't you think? I think so, definitely. I mean, it was. <laughs> because the first half, it wasn't bad defense by OSU, but it was definitely more ground given up. That's kind of how Kansas State built the score. Obviously, the offense struggled, but yeah, defense was really at the core of it. Core at the first half deficit, mm -hmm. and core at the first half win. 100%. And, and right here on this play, we'll, we'll start out here by seeing a lot of shuffling around from the defense, it looks like. Uh, a lot of movement there. Um, but ultimately, you'll see Jarek Bernard Commerce, a guy who's you know been having a very, t t very, very tremendous season uh, on his end, you know, really stepping into that cornerback role really well. Um, you'll see a pass breakup from him here and, and, and applying good pressure in coverage uh, from him. So we'll, we'll check that out in just a second. But City, what did you see on this play that, that really stands out to you? Well, first off, you want to wonder, why is this the best third down defense in the country or one of the best now that they gave up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Here's why. Jim Knowles. Excellent, excellent schemes. Here you're going to see it. First off, look at this defensive line, right? You got Trace Ford, Brock Martin, Cameron Murray, Calvin Bundage. That is a pass rushing nightmare, right? First of all, you're able to mm -hmm. do that because you, you sent them into third and long, right? Then you watch what they do here. Stunts on both sides. Cameron Murray, Calvin Bundage, Brock Martin, Trace Ford, right? You're going to see the guys kind of go around and make a play. Then obviously, like you mentioned, Jared Bernard Converse. He is locked down in coverage. Mm -hmm. But watch. Watch Trace Ford and Brock Martin first. On the left side, you watch it. Brock Martin goes off to the left, takes out the right tackle. Trace Ford, little spin move, and he's right there. Right there. Then look at the look other at side. That. It's the same exact thing. The difference was Cameron Murray, who's obviously going to gobble up double teams because he's that big nose tackle, defensive tackle. And then Calvin Bunders flipping sides, those stunts. This is what I talk about all the time. The creativity from Jim Knowles, whether it's bringing pressure just full house, bringing Malcolm Rodriguez or Amen late and getting them as free rushers, or just you know stacking up one guy, a Calvin Bundage, a Trace Ford, you shove one guy on one side, three on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's not going to stop you if they're running the ball, but they're not running the ball in third and long. That's smart. And then you get guys on one-on-one -on -one matchups, you change the complexion, you fool the defense, you disguise things, and you get there. And here's what they do right here. You just watch Brock Martin, Trace Ford. Trace Ford's obviously an outstanding pass rusher, but here he really doesn't have to do much, right? It's just that little flip around. He's right there in the backfield. And then here, the coverage. He is glued on. This is the luxury, right? When you're Jim Knowles, all you got to do is, like I said, you don't always have to bring pressure five, six, seven. Because you can create pressure by A, your talent, B, your schemes, and then you can just stick one-on-one -on -one in coverage. This is a luxury. You have Rodarius and Jarek Bernard Converse. Very simple technique there. And they just cover him and incomplete. I mean, here's the thing. Even if he catches it, that's a two-yard pass. Yeah. They have to punt it away. That's simple, smart football. Yeah, totally. And, and you see, Jer yeah, like you said, even if he catches it to your gain, um, that's just a testament to the great coverage from uh, Jarek Bernard Converse there and, and some of the other corners out there. All the members of the secondary really can, can apply great coverage um, definitely this entire season. And, and you've seen it just in many cases there and, and, you know, game of inches. But, man, oh, man, what a, what a play right there. Um, so then, you know, transitioning now into, into an, another key play from this defense. Uh, you know, I know that um, Kansas State had, had so many opportunities out here but it's plays like this that, that when, when you have Will Howard going on the, on the run, right, um, this is one of the things that, one of the reasons that Mike Gundy, one of the first things he said in the press conference was, you know, we have to sort of stop that quarterback run. Um, and this was sort of a, I, I guess, you know, one of the reasons this Kansas State was able to stay close to earn this game and, and was able to, you know, put some points up on OSU. You know, we talked about with Iowa State in particular, the discipline, mm -hmm. the B Brees Hall runs, it's just you need contain, you need that little... You know, that little bit of discipline, mm -hmm. and you stop a guy. You make 70 yards, negative one yard. Yeah. Or one yard. Or two yards. Mm -hmm. That's that's a win. Same thing here with Deuce Vaughn. You're going to see. Deuce Vaughn didn't have the best of games, but, man, we know about his talent. This is an explosive guy, and OSU's defense really honed on him. And it wasn't honing on him on stacking the box and mm -hmm. sending everyone there, but your eyes, your body, even even sending a few guys, or you see the guys just gravitate that way. That's, the, that's what Deuce Vaughn does for you. And you watch it here. 
Here you're going to see the run. First of all, number 20 in motion. Kansas State did a lot of this. A lot of window dressing. You see it. Deuce fun. And look at all the linebackers, right? You see everyone edging that way. I think that's Tanner McAllister up there, Mary Trace Durling. They're all kind of inching that way, ready to stop Deuce Fawn. And watch Will Howard. He's just watching Tyler Lacey. That's his man, right? That's when you're running that read option right now. That's what you're doing here. Your quarterback, you either hand it off or you run it. You mm-hmm. hold it. Now, that read for Will Howard simple. If Tyler Lacey comes down, then you you tuck it and run. If he if he comes in, sorry, if he comes down and stops Deuce Vaughn, you tuck it. If not, you just hand it off, right? Mm-hmm. As simple as that. But this is the entire defense, just eyes on Deuce Vaughn, body to where Deuce Vaughn. Now, watch Tyler Lacey, 89. He he probably should stop right here, <laughs> right? This is, this is where you should be when you're containing, especially as a defensive end who's more power than speed. But instead, he inches in a little more, and that's enough for a very... Very talented, very fast, dual threat quarterback at Will Howard. And watch the block from 29, right? He's over there. And I said, just that little bit, and Will Howard's got an open lane. And that's where you see him running off. And like I said, you just watch Tyler Lacey. He just inches in a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. And that's the discipline. That's the eyes of, man, I really want to stop Deuce Fawn. This OSU defense. I'm sure that also that's what they were talking about a lot that week, Deuce Fawn. But you watch him right here. Instead, he's got, he's got good contain here. Obviously, he can maybe be a little bit more wider. Sure. That's fine. And then you just see him inch a little bit, and it's gone. Yeah. He got that hole for Bull Howard. <laughs> Again, like I said, a very athletic guy who's mm-hmm. able to run, and that's what you see here. Totally, yeah, and he's going he's gonna to come into his own there for the Kansas State Wildcats. Um, and, and sort of when you look at that, too, it, it, like you said, it's a discipline thing. And, man, oh, man, there's, there's been a bunch of times this, this year where it's happened where you can see OSU getting, you know, limiting teams to some of these crazy yards. And I know, and I know, we don't like to talk about hypotheticals like that. But, man, oh, man, you got to talk about it sometimes with these discipline issues. And that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's simple little things. And, again, it's so easy in theory. It's so simple. But in the game, when you're, when you're a player and you're a talented guy, you want to make a play. Those are the little bit of things. And, again, it, it's not like it's such a big issue that it's blowing everything up. If you look at the numbers, 17th best scoring mm-hmm. defense, 18th best total defense, like top 10 in sacks, fourth and third down defense. They're elite in – I mean, not elite, mm-hmm. but they're very high up in categories. And I mean, you can consider it a lead if you want, considering you're in the Big 12, the offensive Big 12, but that's just what they're doing so far. It's just, it's just that's that little crack where you're playing such a talented player like Sam Ellinger, like Brees Hall, like whoever, right? And you want to stop them so badly mm-hmm. that you kind of get out of get out of place just a little bit, and that just changes the complexion. And that that's, that's I don't want to call it the Achilles heel of this defense, but it does change things a little bit. Yeah, it totally does. And, and uh, But then there's plays like this. Then there's plays like this, like the game... Ceiling play, obviously you see the score down there, 13-12. Um, Kansas State looks like they're driving down the field, and, and they were at this point, right? Um, and this is the play of the game. Jason Taylor ripped the second, rather, uh, rip, uh, getting the ball. Obviously, uh, I believe it was Israel Antoine who ripped it away, but Jason Taylor coming up with it, scoring the touchdown, and you see the Oklahoma State Cowboys sealing the victory against Kansas State City. What happened in this play? We just talked about how Deuce Vaughn brings eyes. First off, just watch the linebackers. Watch Tanner McAllister, right? As soon as his ball snapped, Deuce Vaughn in the slot, motions over to the right. Four guys all go that way, <laughs> right? Yeah. You have that same because that's the effect of it. Now, this is kind of a power run. You see the left guard pull and go to the right. So that's in the play design. You got two lead blockers. So I'm sure that's why some of them are gravitating that way. It looks like a zone defense. That's why Tanner McAllister pulls up when that motion happens. And so, again, Will Howard, same thing. He's going to pull it because that's, again, the read, right? That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's what it is. That's that's a design QB run, it looks like. So you have that, and suddenly you have all your guys going that way. Now Jason Taylor is obviously standing there. I don't know if that's supposed to be where he's supposed to be, or if he just reads that and sees, okay, that's what's happening, maybe it's an adjustment. But Jason Taylor is there. But still, you have all your guys going that way. And watch the defensive line, 95, Israel Antoine. Big, strong guy who's a big power guy. Now he's kind of stuffed there, he's stopped there, but he has his eyes on Will Howard. He's there, he's ready, He's he's got his hands. He's got, he got very good hands up top right mm-hmm. near the shoulder. That's where he gets a lot of the bull rush power from. And you see him out there. He knows he's not getting to Will Howard. He's too far out. But watch the arm, the strength. Just pulls the ball out, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the strength of Israel Antoine. I mean, imagine that. Just imagine you have your full body there. You're sticking your hand out, and you're trying to rip a ball out. That is difficult. It is extremely difficult. And you look at it, too. I mean, a millisecond prior to that, he's on like a, a couple, like a foot or two away. And it's really crazy right. the way he was able to do that. And then... Man, I know you're going to bring it up. I know you're going to bring up the, the speed of Trace Ford on this play. My goodness, look at him. I mean, that's just one Jolt thing. down the field. 
this, I think this is obviously not about the play, but this mm-hmm. is just, I mean, I used to watch Trace Ford last year, getting prepared for this season to see what is Trace Ford, what's so special about yeah. him. Obviously, we knew it was special about him, but you would just wonder. And one of the things that immediately stood out, without seeing plays like this, you would just see him chasing down quarterbacks, chasing down running backs, sideline to sideline. And the, the way he was able to track guys down, you just, I would sit there and I wonder, I'm like, he looks like he's as fast as some of these safeties sure. and linebackers. And hey, look, he is as fast <laughs> as one of those safeties. Yeah. But look at him just running down, man. And look Goodness. at that. I mean, Malcolm Rodriguez is yep. a, a linebacker turned from a safety. I mean, this is a guy, he's keeping up with them. And, and, and like you said, it looks like he's slowing down a little bit too. I mean, he mm-hmm. is just so quick. And, and obviously, that doesn't have much to do with the play, but it's just a testament, again, to his his great speed, great quickness, and uh, his versatility. And and again, we'll watch the second angle of Israel Antoine here. Look at him. This is even better. I mean, look at how stuffed he is. He Look at his helmet. That's what I'm saying, yeah. He's watching Will Howard the whole time. Mm-hmm. He knows. This is smart. He knows he's not getting down there. But it's just you know, understanding, oh, look, let me mm-hmm. stick my arm out. And watch this. This is good ball security from Will Howard. Sure. He has his, ball, he has his hands all over that ball. This is a strength. He has one hand mm-hmm. on Will Howard's hand. Yeah. And not even on the ball. And that's just the strength. Of, look at that. Look at that, yeah. And that ball is out. And by the way, against a talented Kansas State offensive line, too. Let's not let's yeah. not kid ourselves here. I mean, he's not going up against some no-name off- offensive line. This is Kansas State we're talking about. I mean, they've built their program a lot on these offensive linemen. They have guys who are able to sneak into the NFL some years. Um, and man, oh man, just, just what another great, like you said, strength, just strength from right. Israel Antoine to set up this opportunity. I, I know Jason Taylor will get the credit on this. He gets the touchdown there, but my goodness, you gotta give, you gotta give Israel Antoine the game ball after that. What a, what a no performance doubt. from that. I mean, yeah, he had a great game mm-hmm. all day long. All day long. He started actually, uh, overall it was a great, great, I mean, great couple of weeks from Israel Antoine. Sure. I was surp- not surprised. Brendan Evers is also a very quality player, but I thought Israel Antoine was my one of my I, I've been telling you all summer how excited I was yeah. for Israel Antoine. I think he's so powerful. He he was great to end last year, and it's not just great in the plays like this. It's his gap control, discipline, ability to reroute guys to the wide open arms of someone like Malcolm Rodriguez, someone like Amen, and that's why you saw both those guys compile a hundred tackles. Now I'm not, I'm not putting it all on uh-huh. <laughs> one or the other because obviously those two guys are very rangy, great linebackers. But you need that mm-hmm. when you're Cam Murray, when you're Israel Antoine. You're you're not always getting tackles. You're making the plays, you're containing the gaps, you're hitting the holes and making, forcing running backs to reroute, forcing quarterbacks to make different decisions, gobbling up double teams to help your pass rushers. And that's what Israel Antoine has done all game. But one last thing, I mean, just watch Trace Ford. This is obviously, he gets right there, but this is the, this is the knowledge of a left tackle, right? When, when you have such a good pass rusher, someone who's so anxious about pass rushing, this is what you kind of do, right? When he's there, you, you, you can almost direct him into... Um, the left side, right? You let him keep going and you kind of shove him. Now, left tackle here doesn't get his hands too well on Trace Ford and to shove him out. So what I'm kind of getting at is when you have that sort of pass rusher there and you know you're not going to you know, push them down, maul him, push him in the run game, and he's got so much force, you kind of redirect him, right? right. So it's very subtle. So that's why you kind of see him almost outrun Will Howard. Now, some of that's Will Howard's athleticism, mm-hmm. but that's just that subtleness, right? Don't, hey, let, oh, if I can't get him, let me not chase after him. And that's what it comes down to. But great play. By Israel Antoine. I mean, look at this space in the middle, right? You have some space for sure. I don't think you get too far past Jason Taylor, but still, this is such a crucial time because look, look at the context. Yeah. 13-12. Obviously, OSC was on a roll. Mm-hmm. Momentum's happening. But not only was Kansas State at the 20-yard line, they were rolling on the drive. Yeah. This looked like a drive where, okay, Kansas State was going to score, but okay, K- Oklahoma State was also going to score right after that. <laughs> but you stopped that. You neutralize that when you're Israel Antoine. You're the Oklahoma State defense. Great defenses, elite defenses, make plays when you need them most. This is what Oklahoma State does here. What hap- What do we say all the time in this department? Big players make big plays. And know. Israel Antoine was able to do it on this drive right here. Thank you all for tuning in. Once again, we'll check out this Jason Taylor touchdown. But thank you all for tuning in to the Okali Film Room. Uh, the next time we see you will be Bedlam. And we will review that film after that. Thank you for tuning in.